Hey guys, my name is William Jones. In today's video, we're going to do an addiction treatment clinic audit. That's right, an addiction treatment clinic audit. And just stay tuned, we'll be right back. So in today's audit, this is a mini audit, we're going to go over, basically, this is an addiction treatment clinic. So... Let's go through this real quick. I love the fact that you've got these call to action buttons up here, bright orange, yellowish. I love this. If you've been watching any of my videos, you know I'm a, I'm a stickler for this sort of thing. Always, always, always put those up there. You have your seat, you have your call in and call to action. These are all click to calls. Great. You have your social icons. These are very important. I don't know yet if you have it in your schema. But you need to also put these in the schema. Why is that important? Because if it's in your schema and you have it on your web page like this, then when you go to a GMB like this one, they'll pop up right here. If you don't, they won't. All right, so that's very important to have them on the home page right here and in the schema, okay? Um, let's look. This is an H1 perfect. Your H1 is above the fold. Above the fold basically means in my line of vision when I first come onto the website. Okay, perfect. Your content's good. You also have CTAs or call to actions. Every time you have content, call to action. Content, call to action. I love that. Great. You have your map embedded. You have your map of West Palm Beach embedded here. Who wouldn't want to come here? I love it. Your reviews are here. Let's click on this review. Can we click on it? No, we can't. So we want to change that. What we want, I have it, for example, in Sod Installation St. Louis. We want on your home page, we want this little write a review button. I'd want that up here because that's going to tie to your GMB. Then when you click on it, it's going to pop out like that. And you're going to be able to have them write a review and it's going to tie to your GMB, most importantly. Also with these reviews, like you have this, I would actually want that to be more like this, where it's a GMB embed, and it's tied to your GMB. And then down here on this site, you'll see as well, where we have the, G, the actual text reviews, and these are all hyperlinked over to the GMB as well. If you click on any of them, it opens up in another, and you can see their profile, and they wrote the review facade in St. Louis. So we wanna do that here as well. Um, content wise, call to action, layout, everything's good. Wouldn't have to do too much with content. So I love it. Love it. Beautiful site, beautifully laid out. Um, we're going to look at some SEO factors, see if, you know, you have good core vitals. Core vitals is one of the last Google algorithm updates. And we want to make sure the page speed is good to go. Now, that being said, I'm going to send this audit report over. You got 683 issues. Most of them are info issues. That's not a big deal. This would take me probably an hour to fix. Um, mainly, you're, they're, you know, these audit reports, you know, you want to look for broken links. You want to fix any errors. If you have any, you have none. You got one warning, and that's not a big deal. I'll send that one over to you, this report as well. But that being said, okay, we want to get you to pass your core vitals, you're not passing on performance. We wanna get that number up. We wanna get these numbers up, okay? We want this to pass core vitals, and you're not. Your core vitals assessment, you failed. And most websites, to be honest with you, do fail unless someone like me comes along and fixes that, okay? Next thing after that is when I run an audit report and see where you're ranking, you're not ranking anywhere for your main keyword which is on your website in your main header, which is this right here, South Florida Detox Center, okay? We wanna get you ranking when someone comes and looks for you in this area. All these numbers basically represent, when I'm in that area, am I finding you? This is only in a two and a half mile radius, you know, that's it. We wanna take this, make these all green like a cabbage patch, then once it's ranking in a two and a half mile radius, we're gonna then turn around and expand it to five miles, then 10 miles, then 20 miles, and so on and so forth. Um, and this shows you all the different data, et cetera, but the most important part is this little geogrid right here, okay? If you would like to know around about how much everything costs, if you go here to my website, 
Um, you are in South Florida. It's going to cost you around $800 a month, which is this package right here, package number three. It take me three to six months to get you ranked, especially in that niche, because <clears throat> it is a highly competitive niche, okay, and you are in South Florida. Um, but besides that, <coughs> excuse me, we'll shut this down. But overall, the website, your content looks good. Um, I would want to blog on here. That's one thing I definitely would want, is that I want to blog on here, and then I'd want to start doing some highly, highly um, authoritative press releases, and then get some good backlinks coming in as well. And your internal linking and everything's just spot on. It's just you're in a very highly competitive niche. You need some strong backlinks, some strong press releases. And I could make this, if it happened for you, and change that geogrid from red to green. Want to know a little bit more about me? I'm a 20-year SEO expert, if you will. I've been doing GMB since GMB's been around. And even before then, I live in the Philippines. And I help business owners just like yourself because I myself got started as a business owner. I run the largest SEO forum on Facebook. We have about 102,000 members. If you want to go to my YouTube channel, you can check me out on YouTube and you'll see so many more, if you will, videos or audits I've done and material and things that I do as far as SEO. I'm here to help you. If you have any questions or would like for me to audit anything, just let me know. And I will definitely audit your website for you, just like I've done for this gentleman here. One last thing on your GNB, you are responding to reviews. You know, if I was looking at your GNB, I'd want you to be doing GNB posts. And this is one of the things I mentioned five days a week at minimum, because we then take these GNB posts and I take the images and I'll right click copy and I'll embed these across different assets inside press release blogs anywhere I can put them and tie the GMB back to your website but overall your GMB even looks nice you know so not too much I would do there you do have some good if you will backlinks coming in but I would definitely want to help you out with this if you have any further questions just make sure to let me know I'm gonna send these audit reports over to you and guys, like I said, if you want my audit sheet, drop me an email comment below and I will send you the audit sheet as well. When I do your in-depth audit, it's going to wind up including, it's about, I mean, it's insane amount, but it's at least a couple of hundred point, if you will, audit sheet. But I go through everything as far as your content, your internal linking, but everything that I've seen on page is, you know, really spot on. You just need a couple of tweaks here and there. You need your blogs. You need some press releases. You need to pull in your GMB reviews. You need to put some embeds. I mean, this is the typical stuff, but um, we'd definitely love to help you out. And I hope this was informative. I hope you maybe learned something. But, you know, one of the things, another thing you will want to do, for example, when you're looking, just for example, and you're looking for a detox center, what most people don't understand. Let's say if I went to Google and I went Miami Detox Center, right? I will look at your top five people and say, what are they doing that I'm not doing? Maybe like this person right here. I'll turn around and I'll take this and I'll go, okay. What's he doing different than me? How many pages does he have versus me? You know, there are things I want to look at that maybe I'm not doing, you know, and I'll look at their site map and I'll say, well, how many pages do they have versus me, right? So on pages, just for example, they got 35. You know, do I have location pages where I'm talking about all of Miami? Things to do in Miami, places to go in Miami driving directions, all that stuff. I want to put all that in. How many blog posts did this guy have? He has 56 blog posts. And then I'd copy pretty much all his blog posts. I'd have them all rewritten, right? And I'd restructure them according to my website. That's just one thing I would do, right? But I'm going to look at the top five people and say, what are they doing that I'm not doing? And then apply it to my website. I hope this was informative. If you have any questions, just let me know. Be blessed. Have a great day. 
so many SEOs that hate me and say that I'm still in their methods. They bitching and cry, labeling me SEO black hat. was a nobody, now I'm at the top. Most wanted.